Mm. Also, Kitty. Yes. Kitty. Yeah. It's just a burning memory. Please don't. I don't like that album. I hate that album. <laughs> Did your show her that six and a half hour uh, app? She kn uh, no, she, she I found it. The, yeah, she already knows about care about the caretakers everywhere at the end of time. I just like. I to don't like that album. I just like to poke oh, at her me. whenever whenever I think about it. I'm like I fucking oh, yeah, noticed. <laughs> Jeez, Jeff, you're such a little troll. <laughs> I, mean, I like so trolling my friends. Same. I used to, well, everybody knows, or if you don't know, I used to work with elders with dementia and Alzheimer's. So when I heard that album, like it haunted me for two and a half days. It did not help walking down the hallway and like hearing the melodies in my brain and knowing I'm going to be around people that are slowly fading away mentally. Yeah. It felt yeah. like you were slowly Aww. becoming one of them. Yeah. That's like people who work at like fucking hospice houses. Hospices. Oh I can't, god! I, I, I don't know how uh, they can yeah. do that. My yeah. brother works yep, at our, a hospice. Uh, yeah. Yep, our uh, facility was a mixture of. So they set it up where it was like a home, so it, they didn't feel out of place. But at the yeah. same time, when they started to go, especially with you guys or your patients. Um, they would end up being on hospital at a nurse, and we always had, like, uh, whatever, an ambulance or something on call. And then we had to, when an elder passed away, we had to keep all the other elders in their room. And we called the guy to the body away. Mm. Yeah. And it's, it's very hard for someone that you love. Uh, or took care of rolling away on a stretcher in a black body bag. I don't even want to think about that. I only know the thank pain you, of Dad, a, Thank you. I only know the pain of a relative loot going off because of dementia. That was not I, fun uh, for four years. I but love... on the upswing, I had very many miscellaneous events with grandma. <laughs> the thing is, with me, I don't want to think of stuff like that because I had to deal with... I had to experience my grandmother dying due to Alzheimer's. Uh, it's I not can... fun. It isn't. It's not no. fun. It's like it you, you it's like you you see them like regress and like not even be here. Mm -hmm. and lose the they literally lose the side of them that you loved as a kid. Well that's exactly what happened with my grandmother. She went from being a woman who was very witty and never let anyone talk to her down. Like, she literally always knew how to respond with a little sense of sharpness to yeah. somebody who spent four years say, saying that people were going to just abandon her and they were going to take her money from her and that they were going to leave her. And it just got worse for her when she kept losing family members. Yeah. Oh my when my uh, when my uncle, who was her favorite son, passed away, that was pretty much it for her. She just completely <laughs> lost it. Aw, poor baby. Yeah. Ow! You son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my god! Being sympathetic, and then I'm being golden out of nowhere. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> a bitch. We're it was just like, perfect timing. We're having like a deep conversation, and this fucker decides to attack me. <laughs> I'll show you a deep conversation. I'll show you a deep conversation. Oh, guys, I got something cool to set to bring up. What? Mm -hmm. um, a while back, uh, like, yeah, it was a. This month's practically almost over, so, like, a few months back, I went to uh, one of the conventions that I was planning on going to for some time now. Mm -hmm. To uh, meet some voice actors for the show that for the show that I watch constantly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I also had made plushies of some of the characters that they vo that they had that's in the show as well. I decided to take those dolls with me to show this particular voice actor. Mm -hmm. Do they love it? Oh my god, he looked like he had stars in his eyes. He was, oh! he was so adorable. <laughs> 
And what makes it even better? He took a picture of them. Aw, cute. And here's what made it even more exciting. He showed it to the rest of the staff. Oh, nice. So, in other words... You have so much I'm bragging rights. You have bragging rights. <laughs> I do! <laughs> I got such a bell to love my dolls. <laughs> <laughs> It just it just made my day when I found out he showed it to the rest of the staff. I was like, you have got to be kidding me! <laughs> you have yeah, rights to says, brag all or... around. I I was super He's... super excited. He he says, <laughs> make more of these, man. You <laughs> also I surprised Golden when I told him earlier. Hey, there was a band that that was literally based off a of Watership Down. Oh, Fall of Ephrafa. Yeah. Like, I haven't listened to it all yet, because, like, it's always difficult for me to listen to bands who rely on uh, more Screaming. harsh... Yeah, the harsh vocals. Emo? I still... Yeah. No, e e Emo's not screaming. What are you talking about? Oh, I said Screamo. Screamo. So, Under yeah. Oath? I guess, sort of like that. Although, Fall of Ephra is more um, crust punk slash sludge metal. But even still, they do scream. Sludge metal. I love that name. That that is inf that is literally a genre. That is literally. <laughs> there are so genre. many different forms, like forms of genre, like genre names. It's like, it's like you would have to form a dictionary for this shit. Yeah. Um. It says right here, sludge metal is an extreme genre of heavy metal that is a combination of doom metal with hardcore punk. Uh huh. Yeah. So basically, slow atmospheric elements with the screaming, with hardcore screaming vocals like that of like, per se, Black Flag or Punk Rock. In other words, it'll <laughs> take you by surprise. Yeah, and considering this band's entire shtick is, oh, yeah. hey, we took we took the plot of Watership, pot, down. Watership down and made it into basically audio music. Yeah, have fun with this. <laughs> One of the biggest things I, that I always remember was, um, was when I was recommended uh, that one Pantera album where its front cover is literally a snake or a rattlesnake. Oh yeah, Great Southern Trend Kill. That's the one. As soon as like the first track comes in, yeah, I'm like oh Jesus. <laughs> oh <laughs> that. Yeah, it literally. Was the... comes... yeah! It starts off with the album screaming. It just like oh Jesus, it scared the but Jesus out of me. Holy shit. It's... It's funny, too, because apparently for the Great Southern Trend Kill, not only is it the most aggressive album Pantera recorded, but it also featured Seth Putnam from the band Anal Cunt screaming on the record as well. Which, yes, there was a band called Anal Cunt. Wrap your Sorry, head around that. guy. Guys, I didn't mean to make you jump like that. My bad. <laughs> oh, does that mean I can go, Hey, Golden, look, listen, watch out. Hey, Hey, listen, Golden! Oh my god! <laughs> there. Did she mute it? Hello? <laughs> okay, I'll just I'll just leave it at that. Oh. <laughs> okay, get out of here, stupid pop-up. There. I did show Wolfhead a while back, uh, Fall of Ephra, and he didn't he did he was pretty into it. I'm kind of yeah. glad that he started getting into Watership Down, because Watership Down does not get nearly that much attention, except for the, oh, this movie was terrifyingly graphic, and this was made for kids. No, you dumbasses. The PG rating was entirely different back then. Yeah. Like, yeah. PG was treated a lot more maturely than, like, fucking G, like, any other rating back then. I saw, like, a documentary a while back about how, like, certain movies had, like, were the reasons for the change. Like, I think Temple of Doom was actually one of them. Oh, yeah, the no, reasons. that movie caused the PG-13 rating to happen. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's, I've, been, I've been thinking about getting one, but I was going to buy one myself. Get what? Get what? Get, Get what? what? Kitty? Huh? Kay. Kitty. Hello. Kitty. Uh, what Six. are you getting? Yes. What, what are, are you, you getting? getting? 
Oh, uh, my husband just uh, gave me a CRT from 1987. Oh, a CRT nice. TV? Damn. Bro. Yeah. He's like, oh, I may or may not have some car. And I'm like, what do you mean you may or may have something? He comes walking in with an old 80s TV and he just plops it on the bed. And he doesn't even know if it works. <laughs> oh my god, it works! It works! It's... She is so happy! I mean, She's anything that is retro, lot. she will lose her fucking mind. I mean, I don't blame her. I want a VCR player now. I also- what? I still want- No, 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 you should go all the way and get, like, a Betamax player or some shit. Yeah, this is a 1987 laser disc. Laser disc. Oh, well, funny enough, somebody at my dad's old workplace actually had a laser disc of Blair Witch Project. Oh, I, I can't wait know. to play with it. I didn't even know there was still. I thought laser disc was around for like one year or some shit. I think it's just probably for like certain, like at least maybe for that while niche market. But I remember seeing a copy of the Blair Witch Project. As a fucking laser disc, I was like, "Wait, Blair Witch laser disc? What the fuck, sirs?" Like, all right, whatever. I put it in gaming chat. Okay, and apparently, I'm being tagged. Oh, <laughs> how dare you, Ursula? My voice. <laughs> Yeah, you fucking took my voice away, your slug. <laughs> well, have we learned yeah, something great. here? No, do it again. Listen, I was, I was only being Navi because you were playing uh, Le uh not Legend of Equestria, Zelda, <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to fuck with you. <laughs> I gotta get back to playing Legends of Equestria again. There's so much like other shit I've been meaning to. Say. That's very Is that rustic? Yes, hey, that is Rusty. Uh, hey, what up, guys? Existing. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna get that big one. Let's talk about where the fuck would you in my womb? There you go. Two hundred ninety-five pounds. I very good. Dad. Oh, I'll play go to bed. Why do we have the TV on? See what works. It's gonna be fun. I can Chromecast now old movie onto the TV. <laughs> Does it come with a remote? I got it. Got a part. Happy. <laughs> oh, question guy. I've been slow working on that. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Here. If you guys are hearing me sounding like I'm in pain over here, I kind of am. What's going on? Oh, I think I sprained a muscle on my lower back. Oh. Yeah, I think it. I think it got sprained when I was helping my mom with something, and uh, yeah, now it's aching like a crazy. Do you think it so yeah, I'm I'm using a heat pad right now to help heal it. Thirty bucks. We At don't least have the pain. Put that on your old shelf, it was. Which one? Well, you currently. Have yes, please tore down that and put all my animal shit there. Look. Hi. Let's just stay. Twitch has to come out again due to points already not being done yet. Um, kind of. I haven't been up to date with a lot of things. Uh, oh, shit, excuse me. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did eat after seeing the Mario movie. I ate chicken. Good. Chicken. No, I'm chickens. I still have yet to try raising canes. Raising Cane's is really, really good. Wolfhead and I both had it when we were in Vegas. It is 
<clears throat> and to say I was ecst ecstatic when I saw that they were finally opening one here in, you know, in town is an understatement. Like, I looked up and I was like, oh shit, they're finally opening one! Ah! Stop! You know what's another underrated chicken place? What? Uh, crispy Crunchy Chicken, <laughs> if you've heard of them. I have not heard of them, actually. I, I don't know what it is, but I love their chicken. Crispy Crunchy And their biscuits chicken. are amazing, too. Mm. Let's see, what's where the are they located? They are located... Oh, wow, there is one in, you know, in my... Yeah, well, not in my area specifically, but there are some in town, in, in like another city, in, a, in another town district. Okay. Hmm. Awesome. Nope. Awesome. Okay. Right. Whew. It's starting to feel a little better. Are you sick? No, it's just my back's hurt, been hurting like crazy all day today. Uh, not fun. No, it's not, especially when it's the lower part of the back. Ew. I tell you, I, I was bending all day. I'm bent. I'm spent. But I got a grand ass workout, yo. Like, <laughs> it's gonna shit. It's gonna be the same for me um, this upcoming week because I'm gonna be working six days. Oh, oh I, I know that feeling, dude. I remember like a few, uh, about a few months ago, there was a time I had to work like eight days in a row. How long is that? Oh, that's 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 fucking rough. Uh. Golden. Yes. I don't Jesse? know if you can do this. I don't know if you can do this, but wait till after you're done talking to this guy. Okay. There's a little, uh, there's a little something that I think you, that I hopefully you can be able to pull it off. Uh, well, like, I don't, well, I don't mind working the six days because my produce, my produce lead said he's going to be out of town oh. for the week. And at the same time, I did say I'm planning to get a foldable phone and switch from my current phone plan to T-Mobile. So I'm going to need the money.